So I'm just home for lunch. I'm gonna have to get back pretty soon. Um, <laughs> smoking a really vintage custom built. Really a nice thick walled big billiard. Has that early custom built rustication, which is kind of different from the later ones. Um, a little more coarse, maybe a little smoother from wear. This dates from 46 to 52, 1952. It's one of those uh, custom dash builts in, uh, in script. So, yeah. Have that on wrong. <laughs> I was thinking about smoking uh, one of these older custom belts. I've been chatting with uh, Abraham from New York on uh, the messenger thing and through email. And he has some really nice older custom belts, some really unusual ones, too. So I was thinking, yeah, I have to smoke one of my old, older custom belts. So I'm smoking some HH Pure Virginia. It's a flake that I got uh, at the Chicago Pipe Show from uh, Ivan Reese. A blend composed of both air-dried and flue-cured Virginia tobaccos. HH Pure Virginia is 100% Virginia tobaccos from regions with the highest reputation for growing the finest Virginia leaf in the world. Like all tobaccos in the HH family, this blend has no top flavor and only minimal casing used in order to put the natural tobacco taste in front. You will experience the natural sweetness from the Virginia tobacco. And you know what? That's pretty true. This dates from uh, August 2015, this tin. So it's, it's a couple years old. Nice little foil. So it's these... Uh, small flakes. And they don't have any sugar crystals on them yet. I think they will. I bought a few tins for cellaring. And I just kind of had a hankering for a Virginia that was pretty much just a Virginia the other night. And so I pulled this out and opened it and uh, it's good. It's kind of like my favorite Virginia now. Sometimes you're just in the mood for Virginia. You don't want a lot of other stuff. And I'm always up for less casing and no top flavor. <laughs> so. Yeah, it smokes nice. So I was at the, uh, our, my, where I work. Uh, hosts a community health fair every fall and uh, so I was here this morning and they you know give you your flu shot take a little blood and then do your cholesterol and uh, blood sugar so mine's always been pretty good um, do I have it with me? Oh, damn, I left it in the house. Okay. So I can't give you the exact numbers. But the guy who ran it through the little machine there said, you know, these are the best numbers I've seen today and the best numbers I've seen all week and probably the best numbers I've seen all year. <laughs> he said, if it was mine, I'd frame it. <laughs> so that's good. I did a fasting uh, no di from dinner last night on nothing, so... We can get a little more precision with that test. So anyway, kind of makes me think about health. You know, I've had a little ear cancer, a little skin cancer. Uh, my blood pressure is a little high. I've got a little arrhythmia. Who doesn't have something in my back? Who doesn't have something, you know? I mean, when I was driving over to the coast uh, a few weeks ago, 
I passed through a little Washington town called Aberdeen. It's an old uh, lumber mill town that phew, has fallen on hard times. It's beyond the Rust Belt, you know. So every time you drive through there, it's like zombie land. You know, all these tweakers, all these super skinny people, no teeth, just like wandering. I mean, it's just like land of the zombies. And yet it's really a pretty place, you know. So it's kind of like Tacoma. It's this place that was formerly very important industrially and now hasn't quite found its niche. But it's poised. It's always poised to be a cool place. So anyway, these zombies, I mean, the one thing on my little health report card there from today was uh, I'm 6'2", I weigh about 220 right now. So I shrank an inch. <laughs> I was measuring myself for something else in my stocking feet. I've shrunk an inch. So, so I'm on the edge of being obese, not just overweight, obese. Which, yeah, I'm kind of husky. I'm kind of husky. <laughs> but really obese? Nah. So, anyway, those tweakers aren't obese. Maybe they have great HDL numbers and triglycerides. <laughs> My point being that health is not just about numbers. Numbers are indicators with some, perhaps some predictive statistical ability. But true health it goes a lot deeper. So, and a lot of that is mental health. So, and I think what we do here. Uh, often assists our mental health. I'm going to put that out there. So, I didn't tell them I was a pipe smoker. I don't know what they do with that. Oftentimes, healthcare people who do it professionally are like, uh, mm, um, you're not supposed to smoke. Smoking's bad. Smoking's terrible. Quit smoking right now. And you tell them, well, you know, I smoke maybe a couple times a week because I have nobody to smoke with. Except you guys, <laughs> um, general, and uh, and it's a pipe, so they just don't know what to what to do with that. Just a lot of times they'll say, "Oh, my grandpa smoked a pipe." I always love the smell of a pipe. But smoking, so you should quit smoking right now. In medicine, useful though it is for all of us, it's just a snapshot in time, too. You know, like a new development in research will change stuff. <laughs> so pretty soon, coffee's okay to drink because it staves off Alzheimer's. Uh, eggs are okay. Uh, a couple of, you know, not in excess, but uh, where they were totally on the, the no-go list previously. So, I think we often know what is healthy and what is not for us. Whether we make changes around that, that's up to us. So, but this is healthy for me. I mean, it's uh, contemplative, it's calming, it's relaxing, it's social. a nice hobby. So, thanks Abraham for writing. He had a question about one of his pipes, so I had to look it up in Bill Unger's um, Bible of the Custom Built. And sure enough, he has a rare one. So, good for you!
after a little rain. It's kind of showery today. Welcome to winter in the Pacific Northwest. Hope gladly we're not down in the wine country of California burning up. We are sending an en engine from our district down there, but too little, too late. So this Pure Virginia, Smack Baron, HH Pure, that's a good stuff. Recommended. If you like Virginias, you have to try it, I think. Um, and if you have a, a Virginia that you like really well, and that you aren't just indifferent about, I've been kind of indifferent about a lot of Virginias, um, put it in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. And cheesy bacon, what a guy. First he gives me this great advice about the fiat and doing the ODB, OBD onboard diagnostic. Uh, that's the little plug-in into the reader in your 95 and later automobiles. I'm going to have to check and see if the bikes have those. They're not required to. I bet BMWs do though. They're so CAN bus electronically oriented. Anyway, he turned me on to all that stuff and helped me defuse my anxiety about <laughs> owning a Fiat. <laughs> and he sent me some really great tobacco. What a guy. What a guy. So much appreciated. I'm not going to do a box opening because um, it's just it's just too much. I mean, it's um, I'm humbled, and I can't possibly repay that. You know, so. But a lot I haven't tried, so I'll be trying those, and I'll acknowledge his contribution there. So that'll be a lot of fun. Give them all a try. Anyway, I should get to work. But, and now it stopped raining. Perfect! Dash down to work while it's not raining. Because I'm trying to walk as much as I can. Park in the very far end of parking lots. Um, walk the long way around. Try every day to walk down to the post office for my one mile little wellness walk. I wasn't doing it because my back hurt so much. You know, it was like somebody had a vice grip at the top of my butt. And it was just like, wow. But all this chiropractic and massage, deep massage, <laughs> this isn't relaxing massage, it's like deep therapeutic stuff. And then uh, the acupuncture actually is working. Is I works well. Plus I'm trying to lose a little weight instead of, you know, the less I have to carry around seems like the better. So, so anyway, it's all coming together. I'm, I'm good. I would almost go and fight a fire these days if there, if we hadn't started the rainy season. Hmm. So anyway, thanks Abraham. Thanks Aaron for all your tobacco contribution. Thanks to everybody for having a smoke with me. <laughs>